Okay, hi Gene, uh, we're here looking at, we've seen this, oh look, I'm in the screen too. Um, video synthesizer, we've seen this before, or other models before, and everybody's been really into it. It's got really good views, so I thought, we've got to come back and see what you're up to. Great, yeah, uh, so this is our synthesizer. We've been working on it for uh, quite some time now. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, we did show it you guys last year, but we made a lot of progress since then, and it is actually being released in a couple of months. We have a release date of uh, the week of June 26th. Oh, so nice. We, yeah, we've been taking it around for the last year, just showing it off to people, getting feedback, and uh, yeah, we're really excited to show it off to you guys so now. So I remember there was um, some features that weren't working because you've got webcam, you got input processing as well, right? We do, yeah. So right now, like, the web camera is hooked up. Uh, it's kind of, it's not just doing, like, mixing. It's actually using the camera as a modulation source, so it's doing something a little more sophisticated. But you can also stream stuff from uh, a laptop or any video source. Uh, so we have a little loop right over there on this laptop. So I'm going to switch from the camera over to uh, that video source. So now you kind of see that's actually being fed directly into there. Ah, okay. So yeah, anybody that has like uh, Resolume or Touch Designer or just any VJ loops, you can feed it right into there and kind of integrate this with your set. And that's just a HDMI out and, and uh, in, in Yeah, so uh, the device comes with this little dongle right here, which is HDMI to USB. So any, H or, yeah, any HDMI stream, whether from a laptop, from uh, another device, you can feed right into here. And is that at like 25, 30 frames a second, 50? What frame rate does that work at? Uh, I think it's 30 frames. The whole entire system runs at 30 frames a second. All right, so, so yeah. Can you, uh, that's a question. Can you switch it to 25 for uh, European and UK? Are there, are uh, there I have systems? never even, or the thoughts never occurred to me. So as it stands, no. But if we get enough traction in the UK, that's probably an easy thing to do. Well, so the frame rate of the device is actually variable, so it'll work fine on any kind of screens, but I don't know too much about like uh, okay, inputting yeah. at different frame oh, rates. Okay. So show me what else it does as well, because we've got CV control, yeah, all kinds so, of stuff. Yeah, so in terms of I.O., uh, it has uh, eight CV jacks on the back. Let me load up a CV pattern right now. I think we've got one right here. Yeah, so we actually have like a, an XY controller hooked up. So this is another one of the instruments on the device. It's kind of like a wave interference pattern. So this is actually changing the wave front to interfere based on what I do uh, with this XY controller right here. Oh, right. And so you can look at any like, oscillator. That could be an LFO yeah, or exactly. an Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it's just kind of fun to be interactive so people can kind of play with it like this. It looks absolutely gorgeous, I have to say. Yeah, so let me actually show you a couple other patterns for this instrument. So this is the second instrument that not too many people have seen. The entire device is actually an instrument host. Uh, so it kind of runs uh, ah, so various you, algorithms that right, we put on there. So you can put in kind of like image processing plugins. Uh, well, it, we can. You uh, can. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. not exposed to the user. The idea is we're going to keep releasing new instruments as time goes on that have the same kind of UI and the same form factor, the same interoperability with other devices, the ability to use camera. You can see right now we have uh, audio feeding into this, and you can also just control it with uh, various controls. We have another one with this instrument that we just made that uh, uses audio and also the camera. Actually, but the camera is now the video loop, so let me swap that back. Yeah, I, c I can see myself sort of <laughs> rendered, yeah, it, rendered in blue and chrome. <laughs> yeah, and you can use a camera to point at like a band or a DJ or uh, the crowd or anything like that or any, any other kind of source you have. Can you have more than one camera source? Uh, that's been requested, uh, not as it stands, but we're going to actually test that out to see if we can actually do something like that. But I suppose you could use uh, the HDMI input from a uh, video mixer exactly. which, uh, as well, right? Yeah, no problem doing that at all. Wow, that's really fascinating. So let me just show you a little bit more of the content for the original instrument because it can definitely do some really neat stuff. So presumably it's got clip storage and you can it, load video clips it into it. Doesn't. And stuff. Uh, oh, okay. So it's actually so first of all, the device is not playing clips of any sort. It's all generated algorithmically on the fly, and we don't really do too much with clips. Uh, the ah. way to get video in is to stream it yeah, in. Right, right. So yeah, yeah it's, it's, so that's how we actually get such a wide variety of content. Uh, it's all generated with like math and algorithms in a semi-modular way. Uh, so the entire architecture under the hood has a sequence of video processing modules all kind of going into each other in a very kind of intricate way. This instrument right now has like 50, I think the technical number is 46, like module slots. And there's about 500 various algorithms you can kind of put into these slots. Some of them control color, some of them control shape, and all kinds of stuff like that. Wow, okay. And the instruments themselves are various module chains. So what I showed you earlier was a different module processing chain. We call those instruments. 
So they're kind of like algorithmic. Yeah. Yeah. So um, is that stuff going to be free update, or are you going to be selling packs to uh, enhance it? Or it's going to be a combination. Like, uh, so we have a little uh, jack right here. Uh, it's for preset sharing and for updates. We have every intention of keeping like the uh, content on this device like new and fresh. So we'll release new algorithms, new packs of images, and just new content for free periodically. But we also will probably sell a couple individual instruments as right. they come out. So it'll be a combination. So um, that is that the update, Jack? That's yeah, not so that's an like Ethernet port. You can also just uh, put the updates on a USB stick and stick it in there if that's so a little more convenient. What, does Ethernet um, provide any additional functionality? Can you control? Can uh, you use R RTP MIDI or OSC or anything like that? Uh, not yet. Uh, we're going to investigate NDI for like video streaming in like over Ethernet. Uh, but right now, we're more focused on just kind of getting the device done and out the door than a few right. of the more advanced features. That port configuration looks suspiciously like a Raspberry Pi. The, the port the port configuration there looks very Raspberry Pi-like. Are you using that sort of stuff uh, inside? So we're using something similar to a Raspberry Pi. It's called a Rock Pi 4, oh, yeah, uh, which is it, a yeah. Raspberry Pi that's actually available yeah, and also right. uh, has a better GPU in it. Like Raspberry Pi isn't really uh, strong or powerful enough to actually do these kind of algorithms. Oh, nice. So you say this is going to be in the stores June, you reckon, sometime? Yes. Yeah, so they're being manufactured like as we speak. And uh, the idea is to assemble them in the middle of June, final assembly, and then ship them out immediately afterwards. Fantastic. And what sort of price are you looking for? So uh, right now they're available for pre-order for $1,200. Uh, we might increase it a little bit when they're out. We haven't thought too much about it. But there is also a promo code for the next week. At, uh, ends on the 26th or something like that. Uh, and it's NAM 2023 with capital NAM. It's 10% off. Nice. Great. Gene, thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure.